Raheem Kassam posted today the definition of bloodbath, yeah. <laughs> uh, which can refer to economics. Yeah, which is the second, I saw that too, the second uh, definition, they use it to refer to an economic disaster. Yeah. And he circled it. Uh, well, well, if you didn't hear the actual statement, let's start with that first. Here's, here's cut number three, Donald Trump talking about, uh, again, what could be in line for us here in this country if China and Mexico have their way with the auto industry along with the liberal wacko Democrats. Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years, 34% of the automobile manufacturing business in our country. Think of it. Went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole, that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine, all he... Yeah, so there you have it. He uses the word bloodbath, describing what would happen to the auto industry uh, in this country if, by some strange you know, coincidence, he doesn't get elected. This is what the left came out with. This is the mainstream media. When they got a hold of that word blo uh, bloodbath, this is what they put up. NBC News, oh, Trump says there'll be a bloodbath if he loses the election. That's not what he was talking about. What did he say on the other one? CBS News, same thing. Also, Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone is kind of a joke, but it's still in there. Um, you know, and, and you can go up and down the line. CNN, MSNBC. I mean, it was just nonstop. The nar they, they had their word, right, David? They had their, here's the word we're going to use, and we're going to beat them over the head with it until it becomes, that's what everybody believes. It's almost like the, um, the very fine people hoax down in South Carolina. Yeah. Right. They tried to do that. The and, only problem and was in, Ch in Charlottesville. So right. and, and Rush used to say 30 years ago, 35 years ago, look for the Sunday shows and watch all of the magic words that right. everybody uses yeah. across the board. So, so now all of a sudden it became, oh, my goodness, it's going to be a bloodbath. He wants violence. They kept talking about he's trying to, to scare the American people, saying there's going to be violence if he doesn't win the election. That was all that they said. As a matter of fact, uh, here, cut number two. Check this out for yourself. <laughs> But as Politico.com reports tonight on the, quote, bloodbath at the RNC, oh. <laughs> headlines calling it a, quote, bloodbath. Yeah, oh bloodbath. Not only is it going to be a bloodbath, oh, but after they leave New Hampshire, it's a bloodbath on her home turf. That's really and tough. Trump has wait. left a lot of corpses in his wake. I mean, we yeah, can corpses. count the bodies as part of the, oh quote, MAGA drive to take over Maricopa County. And the headline refers to it as an impending bloodbath. Columnist wow. Charles Blow has a new piece for The New York Times entitled A Biden Bloodbath. 2018 oh, no. midterms, you can bet that they 100% oh. are fearing a slaughter. In fact, the oh, word bloodbath and massacre <laughs> come up frequently. The Republican Party will be destroyed. It's going to be a bloodbath. There's oh. going to be a bloodbath one way or the other. <laughs> bloodbath. They're, they're all calling for Sanders. so much violence. It's been a bloodbath. They're shaping up to be a bloodbath. Head off a bloodbath in next year's crucial midterm. Off-year elections are often a bloodbath. Oh, this week's lips. bloodbath for Democrats, a bloodbath at the ballot box. There could be a Republican bloodbath. They'll oh. talk about a bloodbath. This it's a bloodbath. I have to talk about you. And it's going to be a bloodbath all day long. Is in for a bloodbath. Has it been a bloodbath on the way down? With Donald Ooh. Trump bloodbath. Be a bloodbath. Oh, Predicted Joe to Scarborough be a bloodbath. May not be the bloodbath. It would be a bloodbath. More of a bloodbath. It's going to be a bloodbath in November. Possible I feel like there's a bloodbath. This There's November, a, theme to this. a bloodbath on Wall Street. There's going to be a bloodbath in, in Alabama into a bloodbath. Obviously, there was a bloodbath. It was a bloodbath. We're down 800 <laughs> points. This bloodbath at the Department of Homeland Security. It and can. it's a bloodbath today. There was going to be this bloodbath. Election bloodbath. Oh, it it could be a bloodbath for them. Bloodbath, possibly. Bloodbath that went through with the Attorney General. Bloodbath 99 days it's out. The bloodbath is going to look like. Presided over a bloodbath in the diplomatic corps. Absolute, in my opinion, bloodbath. Blood, Blood about the Democrats 
Taylor Swift calling it a ticket sales turned into a bloodbath. Look at her, she's getting nervous breakdown. Singer Taylor Swift's latest tour. It's safe to say the fans had a, a bloodbath for the company after the fiasco. <laughs> and there you have it from Tom Elliott, Whoa. Ted Gravian. Um, wow, it seems like it seems like they're all allowed to use the word bloodbath, but but Donald Trump can't use it in the same metaphoric sense. Yeah, Bannon was great today. He was saying how all these people's heads are exploding because they're seeing the polling data and they don't know how to handle it. So this is what you get, right? Uh, especially yep. with uh, Scarborough, who used the word bloodbath multiple times. Oh, yeah. As a matter um, of fact, he, he, freaked out. he freaked out about it, too. You want to see that? Of yes, course you do, let's David. Do it. Cut number one. He's talking about a bloodbath for America. It's laid out in the terms of it. And these idiots uh, on Twitter, uh, these idiots uh, on, <laughs> on, on, on cable news, these idiots <laughs> on Sunday shows, going, where are you, our presidents? You know, he was talking only about the auto industry, and this is one more. It's just bullshit. Let me say that at 6.15 a.m. It's just bull****. Whoa. He knew what he was doing. Easy. We're not stupid. What an ass. Americans aren't <laughs> stupid. He was talking about his coffee. <laughs> a bloodbath. Sometimes a bloodbath means a bloodbath. And when he finishes by saying, and that's just Only going Trump to be the least it. of it. Right. Seriously, these people may be stupid. We're not. Uh, I'm going to beg to differ with you on that one, Joe. You sound really stupid right around now. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I think uh, I think it, 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 you're so stupid, it's a bloodbath of stupidity that just came out of his stupid, stupid head. That's why streaming platforms have more viewers than MSNBC. Right. And, and you know what's the, the best part about this entire thing is how quickly it got debunked. Yeah. Right. Because he said it, on, uh, you know, somewhere between four and six on Saturday afternoon. They ran with it. They got their headlines out. They had their narrative. They were pushing. They were pushing. Hey, let's get everybody on the Sunday shows. Let's get everybody. And then all of a sudden, uh, why is Joe Scarborough complaining about social media and Twitter? Because yeah. they were able to debunk it so quickly. It became about the media being dishonest. Imagine the Internet didn't exist. This is what yeah. they were getting away with. Exactly. From the 30s through the 80s. <laughs> up, up until 2016. Yeah. They could get away with it because they controlled everything. 